Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a huge declutter of my entire makeup collection. I did film this makeup look, it's coming later. I just wanted to film this intro. I declutter my entire makeup collection. This is just part one. I had to split it into two parts just because it was very, very long and it was a lot to edit. This will be like a Monday kind of bonus video. I want to give you all some more content. What better way than give you a declutter? And just a disclaimer, if I say get rid of most of the time, that means throw away just because it is expired and I've had it for for a long time and I've held on to it for sentimental values and then I realized girl you need to get rid of it some of the products that are still good that I just don't use I will give away if they're able to give away I will give them away I won't just throw them away to throw them away I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started here's what the top of my shelves look like sorry if everything is dusty now that the light is on I'm realizing how dusty everything is I just really want to declutter my makeup collections I have way too much makeup that I don't use so I'm gonna start with the top and I really never have tried to declutter this just because it looks so pretty but I'm gonna get over it. These melted lipsticks I do not use at all. As much as I want to use these Too Faced melted lipsticks I don't use any of them and I feel like they're probably kind of old. It says 2015. I got these in like a gift set. It's such a creamy formula that I don't want like a bright lipstick in this creamy formula. I'm gonna be very harsh about all this stuff. This Too Faced lip injection literally hurts so much. It does plump your lips but like my lips get so red. This whole front row I never use. It's just really pretty because it's like all Too Faced. This Too Faced melted matte I also don't use this is one that I know that I might at least wear. I know I should just get rid of it, but since it's too faced, I want to play with the formula at least before I get rid of it. When I say getting rid of, I'm either going to give it away or... And then let's just go ahead and get these out of the way. I'm obviously keeping all three of these palettes. I love these palettes so much. They're all my collab palettes that I have. This lipstick over here to the side is this actually, it's like this gray lipstick, which I got. I kind of want to do a tutorial surrounding this. I don't know like what I would do, but I'm not going to get rid of it because I really haven't used it at all so if you have any ideas for a tutorial well, let me not this estee lauder lipstick it's so broken this is in pink berry and it's the cream formula and it's a beautiful lipstick but like i just don't wear it this whole row i'm going to be keeping these are my maybelline matte lipsticks and they're beautiful and i love them i have daringly nude clay crush almond rose touch of spice and brown blush and i love them all the wet and wild liquid lipsticks i'm going to keep just because yeah these butter lip glosses i'm pretty sure are all gross plus i just never use these anymore I'm just gonna get rid of these. And then this NYX London Soft Matte Lip Cream. I never wear. It's like a lighter warm nude and I don't know if I have that. So I'll try them again. These two are like Urban Decay liquid lipsticks, which I never wear, but I'm gonna keep them because I love the colors. I will make a mental note to wear them more. And then these two are just two things I've gotten at a Sephora birthday gift. The Tardis Lip Paint, which is actually a really pretty color. I love that color so much. Marc Jacobs I never use because it's not really that flattering of a color on me, but like, oh my goodness, isn't this the cutest? Thing ever. I'm not getting rid of it because, um, Nari, right, it's a Mock Jacobs lipstick. This Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I actually really love. Like, I love it so much. This A Cup has a lot of lipsticks in here, and I actually do rotate these out. This Camel D Liquid Lipstick I bought in New York, so I think I'm gonna keep it just for sentimental values, but, like, it's such a pretty color, and I just never wear it, and this is in the color Love Sick. This ColourPop Lippy Stick in Poppin, love that. It's super matte, super pretty. These LA Colors Lip Liners, y'all obviously know I love these. Ailey Studio and Hype, I also love that. Yeah, that's why it's in here. These NYX lingeries, I used to love these so much. This one is in French Made. I guess I put it in here because I want to use it more. This is yeah, I'm obviously keeping that. Keeping that, keeping that, obviously. Here's some more NYX ones in here. This Viva Hot Lacquer in Charmer's Tar Purity. So is this Essence Gloss. The Elf Liquid Lipstick and Praline, I definitely need to start using more. Booty is really pretty as well. Lumiere, I need to start using once again. I'm never going to get rid of it anyways because it's Kathleen Light's lipstick. And then Natural also, I love this lip color. Maybe I'll take those NYX ones out, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to put something else in here. <laughs> like, that can't stay like that. Now for the top drawer, I'm really not going to get rid of anything in here just because this is my everyday makeup drawer. Not that I wear all this makeup. This side is pretty much like what I wear on a daily basis. These are products that I want to use more or I use as accents. I'm not getting rid of anything in there. This drawer is going to be the most cleaned out because this is my foundation drawer and this is really the reason for me doing this video. As y'all know, I do not wear foundation anymore and half of these foundations anyway I didn't like even if I was wearing foundation. LA Pro Coverage, I just did not like the way this looked on my skin. I could try it again but it just looked gross and I did a first impressions on this. I'll link it above if you 
honestly what I thought, but I really hated it. This was like one of the first foundations I wore. I used to wear it like all of the time. I don't wear it because I obviously don't wear foundation. I don't even know if they have this anymore. I haven't bought a foundation since I stopped wearing foundation. Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I really wanted to like this because it obviously says Dewy and Smooth. I just didn't like the way this looked on my skin and it's supposed to be dewy, but like it just clinged to everything and I didn't like it. Matte and Poreless. I actually loved this stuff so much. Towards the end, whenever I started loving this Wet n Wild one, I realized how dry this made my skin look, even though before I thought it made it look flawless. I liked this then. Once I found this, which is my last favorite foundation, like this looked so good on my skin. I don't want to get rid of this one. I think one of these days I might actually do me trying foundation for the first time again, but altering what I do now. I still won't wear foundation on a daily basis, but it's just cool to see like how your skin can change. So I'm going to keep this. This I've had for way too long and it's not good coverage and yeah, it smells like sunscreen. It's gross. And I don't like it. Oh, foundation stick. I really didn't like as well. Like it just made my skin look so dry, but like whenever I swatch it, it feels like so liquidy and buttery. Like I don't know how that even happens. I'm going to get rid of this as well. L'Oreal Pro Go. Literally haven't even like put this on my skin in so long. It's so expired probably. It goes on like that, but then I'm pretty sure it darkens. I did do a first impression on this in a video. I think it was like a full face of first impression. Maybe I'll try this one again too, but I need to check the expiration date. This is one that I do really want to try out again because I use a BB cream now and I feel like this is kind of the coverage of a BB cream and I literally haven't used this in a year. Sponge is literally dry but maybe I'll flip the sponge because there's obviously plenty of product in here. This is something that I really liked. I loved how it looked on my skin. I didn't like using this a lot because there's not a lot of product in here. Like every time I open this drawer to get a primer I always think like I want to try this out again. This AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. I don't use this so I'm gonna get rid of it. This AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. I still like it. I actually used it today. So I'm going to keep this for my Shop Missy videos. I'm also going to keep this NYX Hydro Touch Primer because I just really, really love this primer. Elf Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I never use it anymore. It's so old anyways. The Maybelline Baby Skin. I just stay away from pore fillers. I used to like hunt for them trying to erase my pores. Nothing works on me and it just makes my skin look even more dry, even more matte. Once again, the Pore Professional. I didn't like this at all. Once again, do the One Step Correct. Once again, I've had this for so long. It doesn't do anything, so I'm definitely going to get rid of this. I am going to keep this Manic Panic Dream Tone. I haven't used this in so long. I will keep it just in case. Something needs lightning. These Clean Color Skin Wish BB Creams actually aren't that bad. And I got all three shades because I was like, what? A foundation for $1? I want to get all three shades. So I did. I am going to get rid of these just because I don't use these at all. The AOA Studio BB Cream kind of reminds me of it. This one's just a lot more thick. A lot less natural looking. But I am going to keep this dark shade just maybe to try it out as a bronzer or a darker shade just in case I need to mix it. This e.l.f. foundation, I hated how this looked. I'm pretty sure I only used it once. I just couldn't get over the color either. It's literally so yellow. It doesn't really look that bad on camera. I'm pretty sure it oxidized more. I can't really remember, but the bottle is so pretty, but I hated it. This Nivea Men Post Shade Balm. Who remembers this? It was like the thing for a few months and then someone realized that it penetrates makeup into your skin or something. I don't know, but I don't don't use this because I have all my other primers that I like. Also, this Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Makeup Stick. I honestly didn't even know that was in here. Might have to put that on and see how it wears because if I have a oil and stuff, I know it's like a lighter coverage. I have this Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. I love it so much. I'll definitely use it up. It says it expired November 2016, but I still use it. Wow, that's disgusting. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer, and I also use this sometimes whenever I just want a little area that's a little more minimized. This drawer is very, very empty. That's a success. This one also is going to be a big one to do. Here we go. This Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. I really like this. I just really use this as like a powder foundation to put over like my pimples that are hard to cover up. The NYC Smooth Skin was the first powder I used. It's discontinued now and it probably makes my skin look super dry. So I'm getting rid of this, like throwing it away because that's just unhealthy. It's one wild photo focus press powder. I really didn't like it all and then I dropped it and then it shattered. So now I have a reason not to like it. So I'm definitely going to throw this away. The e.l.f. Perfect HD Powder. This does make your skin look Look super like literally flawless, but I haven't used this in so so long. I just know that it gives you really bad flashbacks, so I never use it. I might just keep this if I do like a full face of Elf. That's the only reason I'm gonna keep it though. And this Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder, I actually did really like before I got my AOA Studio Perfect Powder. I will keep that just because it is good, just to have some variety. This Maybelline Fit Me Powder I haven't used in so long, and I remember whenever I did a video using like the products I used to like, and I wasn't mad about it, but it was just drying. And this Catrice Prime and Fine modifying powder waterproof. I've just used this once. There's kind of like a film that kind of forms after a while, which is weird. It says waterproof, so maybe I'll keep it. I don't want to get rid of it without trying it. This Cleanista pressed powder is disgusting. Like, I don't recommend this. It's super powdery and it smells like stinking, like, grossness and yeah. 
So I don't recommend that. I really haven't used this Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Ghost because the first time I used it, I actually baked with it and it made like a weird white streak on my face. The way I'm going to use this is just like brightening. So I'm going to keep that for concealer. I do use this quite a bit, whether they're for eyeshadow bases or actually for correcting. Wet and Wild Concealer, not crazy about it. I won't repurchase it, but I do use it. Heart Shape Tape, once again, not crazy about it. I'm going to use it up because it's expensive. This Super Save Better Skin Concealer I use also for like my blemishes and stir. And this Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. There's not too much left, but I really like this. It's super skin-like and super dewy. This Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I haven't used it in a while, but I really need to since I'm getting into like cream makeup. This looks really natural. This e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. The only reason I use it is for e.l.f. purposes. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't ever use it besides that. And I'm about to order like a new e.l.f. concealer. This Ellie Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I don't really like it, but I think I need to try it out a few more times because the first few times I used it, I really liked it. But then I realized how bad it creases on me. I haven't used it because I think of how bad it creased on me, but now I don't really know how it wears or anything. So I'm going to try that out again. These I'm getting rid of. They look disgusting on my skin. This one is nice for correcting, but it, I will just use this one. And this one like makes my under eyes look super cakey and so does this one. I think I actually am going to keep this just because I want to have like a mixing concealer. And this Instant Age Rewind is basically out anyways. Probably very, very expired. I really like how this looks on my eyes. I probably won't repurchase it just because I have a lot of favorites. And then this e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer is pretty much out, but it's like way too dark for me. It's in fair but I just kept it to do makeup on other people because most of my friends are way darker than me but this is pretty much out and it's definitely expired. I also have it in yellow and I actually really liked it way out of this because I used to use it so much because it was the only concealer that matched me. I also need to try out this Maybelline Femi concealer some more because I used to have it in like 15 fair but then they came out with five ivory. It's a better color for me now so I will try that out. This master concealer I used to really like but once again they really need to start putting expiration dates on these products. Maybe I should try it out again because wow that's probably really good coverage. I should probably revisit that. I just basically need to try all these out. This is like the first setting spray I ever used. It was like $17 I remember that and I was like I really don't want to buy this like do or should I do it? I bought it and I was so excited and yeah once again this this is probably very expired. I honestly don't remember how it made my makeup last. I don't use it, so I'm throwing it away or giving it away, whatever. And this wet and wild one, like, there's barely anything in there. This is really good as well. It smells exactly like hairspray. I'm kind of torn because if I do like a wet and wild look, I'm going to decide on this, but this I definitely need to throw away. Literally, I've had this for so long. Like, look at the bottom where there's numbers. It's literally just smudged. There's definitely nothing in there. It's probably like all evaporated, but it's so fancy packaging. These I actually do use like whenever I'm just feeling bougie. I'm going to keep these just because I have them, even though they're like the same thing. I think I'm going to keep this in here for a second just to like decide. This is Lush Bronzer Highlight Drawer. This I'm going to keep just because I really like this bronzer color and I really don't ever use the powder anymore, but that used to be my jam. This AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder I use as a bronzer, and I really like how natural it is. This Elf VG Matte one, I really don't use that much, but I really need to use it more because this is actually available, so I should probably use this bronzer more. NYX Contour Palette I don't ever use. This was also another expensive thing that I first purchased. It was like $25, but it has good bronzer colors and good contour colors and a good deeper one. I can use this on my friends. And then the NYX HG Blush and Taupe is something that I use whenever I just do like a super super cool toned look that I need like a chiseled cheek and then this elf light matte bronzer I once again like they're all the same but it's kind of a more cool toned color why do I not use these like I always use my elf cool bronzer what the heck this NYX highlight and contour face do I don't use even though now I'm getting into cream products I could probably keep this but this is just really cool toned that's not natural this Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer I got in like a sample set thing and like it's a pretty color but i never use it so i need to give that away and then this santi blendable concealer i actually used today under my thing and i kind of liked it sorry i guess i'll just keep that for blushes slash highlighters like they're kind of mixed in this is the flower beauty shimmer and strobe like i used to love this so much oh my goodness it's so creamy i really need to start using it again i'm gonna keep that wet and wild rose champagne y'all know i love this wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder and blossom glow i used to like be obsessed with i'm gonna keep it though aoa studio dewy cream highlighter i just got super creamy but i'm keeping it and this wet and wild boozy brunch highlighter i used to love this as well but it's like way 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 too golden for me definitely need to get rid of that as in give it to someone else this nyx starb of genius palette once again is something that i splurged on this has so many good highlighting like colors in it so versatile it's so natural looking i love these color colors because they're so interesting elf baked blush and pink tastic and it's whenever everyone was like raving about it as a highlighter once again what do you think i'm gonna say it's too dark that doesn't even look like a blush so i couldn't really pull that off as a blush so i'm definitely gonna give that away this is the catrice prime and fine 
thing. I'll keep that just because, yeah. Elf Baked Highlighter Moonlight Pearls is so beautiful, but I don't use it because it's broken. Plus, I just have way too many highlighters, so let's just get rid of it. Daily Studio Wonder Baked Highlighters. Love these. And this Makeup Revolution is pretty, but like, I don't use them now because they look super unnatural. This Tarte Blush I'm gonna keep because it's Tarte and it was a birthday gift and I love this color. This Essence Pure Nude Highlighter I personally can't use because it's too dark, but it's such a beautiful highlighter. Like, it's so natural and it's something that I could probably just like sweep all over my face, honestly. I keep that for whenever I do my mom's makeup. These e.l.f. things I want to keep, I want to use, but like every time I use them, there's liquid that comes out. It's not like it's a one-time thing. I need to get rid of these because it's just disgusting. This Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in whatever this was, and it was limited edition, I think. It's really, really similar to that one's more pink and this one's just more white. I really never use this, so I'm going to get rid of this. I will give that to someone else. And then this blush, I still do use if I want like a super dramatic blush. Essence eyeshadow I got because of that Taylor. Like, she recommended it as a pale girl's highlighter, which is super pretty and, like, icy, but it's not too icy. It looks really natural. Oh, that's so pretty. I really want to get back into that. I'm going to try that again. I know I should get rid of it since I've been using it in, like, so long. I'm going to take this out just because I can't really see it. I'm just going to set it on top. That's not very nice, but whatever. Make over Essentials Contour Palette, and I use this once again just for Shop and Say videos. Plus, it's actually a really good contouring palette. This is the Santi Sunsets Blush, which is really pretty, but I mostly just use my AOA Studio Perfect one now. I actually think these are different colors. At first, I got they They are kind of the same, but this one is more pink. So, maybe I should keep it. <laughs> Silky Touch Blush by Essence. I'll keep that because I really like it. Clean color Pierce Escape blush. Like, I literally never use this. Plus, it's really old. Like, look at that grossness. It smells really good, though. This City Color Glowing Complexion Blue Anything Cream I don't use because there's a bunch of glitter in it, so I'm not even gonna open it and tempt myself to keep it. Forgot I had a blush from ColourPop, and this is in Cruel Intention. It's such a pretty color. Um, I'm gonna keep it because I literally never use it. Arbonne Blush in Apricot. I don't use it. Actually, that looks identical to a Wet n Wild blush. And this Essence Blush Up blush. I need that for whenever I do brighter looks. This Smashbox palette I don't use because it's so annoying because these two shades I don't use. Maybe I'll get into this again because this is the only shade I can use and it's really pretty. I just need to be quiet and just use the one shade. Oh my goodness. I like bring this up every time I talk about it but it just really makes me mad how Casey Holmes isn't anywhere on this palette. You like you wouldn't know it was her if you weren't like you know come on bro. Bella Pierre contour palette is once again pretty much just like the other one up there. I'll probably give it a. I got this at TJ Maxx and it was like six bucks. Yeah, this really nice palette. Really, once you have one contour palette like this, you don't need another because they're all the same. This Master Highlight Scrubbing Liquid. Now that I'm using it, I probably will use it because that's beautiful. These containers, by the way, are from Dollar Tree. This one is from Target. The clear ones most likely are from Target, and then the white ones are from Dollar Tree. There we go. That looks so much better. Oh my goodness. Like, what the heck? So, yeah, there's my declutter. I hope this inspires you to go through your makeup collection and see what you don't use. There's a lot for me, obviously, because I have a bigger makeup collection. Wow, it just feels good to, like, have room in my drawers and, like, be able to see, like, every product. There's some products that I kept that I'm not really sure about, so I will be doing, like, a last chance makeup look to see the products that I did keep but I wasn't sure about so I will be trying out those products in that video so if you want to see that just let me know down below I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up and look out for my part two thank you so much for watching bye wow it feels so good <laughs>